Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how we can upgrade to Windows 10. Now we're going to be showing you the whole procedure of upgrading using the free upgrade from uh, Microsoft. Now bearing in mind you don't want to be doing a fresh install at this point because it won't accept the license key because the license key is um, is for Windows 7 or Windows 8 or whatever other version of Windows you're using it will be for that and not for Windows 10 so you will never get it activated so the way we're going to do this is use uh, the free upgrade process and we're going to download the ISO file and upgrade from that okay now this is just one way of doing it there is other ways of doing it this is the way I chose to do it now if you've purchased a copy of Windows 10 and your computer is compatible with Windows 10 and you want to upgrade then this method also works for that as well okay so just follow along and uh, it's pretty simple to do and you'll be up and running with Windows 10 in no time at all so let's get started so you want to upgrade to Windows 10 this is what you need to do you need to uh, take a look at these pages here we'll put all these links in the description this is installing Windows 10 using the media creation tool you can use this to download an ISO file just in case you have problems at a later date you can create your own bootable media so you can always reinstall at a later date but you will need to do an upgrade before you do a fresh install so you can see the download page here this is to download the 32-bit or the 64-bit media creation tool uh, so you can then uh, either upgrade or download the ISO file you will need this tool okay and I will put all these links in the description so sorry about the picture quality here this is because I'm using a video camera to record this off the screen it's the only way I can show you now this way I'm going to be doing it we're going to need 7-zip okay now this is not the only way you can do it but this is the way I found to be the fastest and uh, it's the way that I did it so if you want to check out which version of operating system you're running then you just need to right click on the this PC come down to where it says properties here and this will tell you you're running a 64-bit operating system or a 32-bit operating system how much memory you've got and what version of Windows you are running on that system that's important because obviously you need to know what version to download so you can see here this would mean that we'd need to download the Windows 10 home uh, version for this operating system now make sure that you back up everything I've got a clone of this uh, operating system using uh, Macroom Reflect also I've backed up all the data and I've also you can see there I've got the Windows 10 download already done now this is on a separate drive and I'll be keeping that drive uh, safe so even if you're after July um, 29th and you're still not getting the upgrade is ready for you like I'm getting here you can still upgrade okay as you can see here it's not saying it's ready yet but you want to make sure that you reserve your copy first and I'll show you how to quickly do that you just need to click on the uh, reserve your upgrade okay if you haven't done that then you need to do that first once you've done that you should be pretty much good to go it should give you the tick saying this computer is compatible and then you should see here that you're uh, good to go to upgrade okay now you can see the little re reserve tab down there you want to check out and make sure that your system is fully compatible before you roll out the upgrade so just click on reserve and this will then reserve your copy now once we've got that done we don't have to wait to be notified we should be allowed to upgrade straight away and I'll show you how to do that okay so there we go we've got our uh, copy here we just need to skip the email confirmation I don't want to do that so we're just going to quickly skip that now just before I do that I want to click on the upgrade to Windows 10 frequently asked questions now this is a really good spot to check out because this is going to answer all those questions that you may have okay and uh, you can go through here at your own leisure and check through this and make sure that everything is being answered what you're asking because we've all got questions that we want answered and this is the best place to go these are the most common uh, questions that people ask all the time and you can read the answers by clicking on these okay so check that out first before you reserve your copy or you can reserve your copy first whatever you want to do I'm going to skip the email confirmation and that's it we've now reserved our copy now the next important part to do is just make sure that all your updates for your operating system are done okay just to make sure now you can always go to your update area 
just like I've done there and then click on install updates install all your updates to make sure everything's fine just like so we've now updated all that system and once you've got that done you're pretty much ready to go now as I said it's important that you back up all your data just in case something goes wrong and make sure you make a clone of your operating system or backup image of your operating system so you can see here I've got all my information here all backed up on a separate partition so we're going to be backing up all that and then we're going to be running an upgrade from our root directory you can see I've got my Windows ISO here a creation tool and also a folder called Windows 10 install this is where I've taken out all the files from the ISO and I've put them into my C root directory you can use 7-zip for this you just extract all your files and put them into the C root directory Windows uh, install folder which I've created and come down you can see it there and then click OK and that will extract all the files and put them into that folder I've already done it so I'm not going to be doing it again and there are all my files okay so let's open up our C drive here we're going to go file explorer and open our C drive and then we're going to go into our Windows 10 install folder which we created earlier with our copy of Windows 10 I'm going to click on the setup icon here now you can use the media creation tool if you wish to do this but we've already got the download so we don't need to download it again it's going to say yes here this will then open up and start to prepare your operating system for the Windows 10 upgrade now this does take a long time so give it time now you can download and install all the Windows updates if you wish I'm going to skip this part for now and I don't want to send any information back I'm going to click next it will now check the PC and it will start to get things ready ready for your upgrade now we need to accept the license terms so just read through that if you wish and then click accept now it's going to choose what we want to keep on the operating system so whether we want to keep our data programs and stuff like that you can do that you can see here it's already been set by default to install Windows 10 and keep Windows settings personal files and apps now I don't want to do that so I'm going to click change what I want to keep now if you do want to keep that you can just click install but I'm going to change mine to something different now we can see we've got some other options open so this is where I get to choose what files I want to keep keep personal files apps or Windows settings I can select keep personal files only or I can choose nothing and I want to uh, select that so that wipes everything off the system now this is not an actual fresh install uh, but it's as good as and it will wipe everything off but that's what we're going to be going for in this one so click next so now it's going to make sure that we're ready to install that again it's just going to repeat that process and it's going to make sure we've got enough space on our hard drive so you can see the changes have now been made it says install Windows 10 home and uh, not to keep anything on the uh, system when we install it so we're going to click install here now now this will start to install Windows 10 now this does take a long time to do so be patient there'll be some restarts uh, but once that starts to install it will go through a process of installing and copying all the files over and installing all the features and drivers and then configuring your settings you can see that at the bottom of the screen there as it goes through now I've not missed any steps I've just speeded that process up now we get to change our uh, configuration here and as you can see the configuration here is for United Kingdom you can change what language you like now we're going to click next here it's going to apply those settings okay get going fast so we can use express settings a lot of people click on this but the customized settings is where I'm going to be heading and this is because there's been some new changes and as you can see here uh, personalize your uh, personalize 
your speech typing and inking inputs by sending contacts and calendar details back to Microsoft I don't want to do that um, sending typing and inking data back to Microsoft I don't want to do that either advertising ID I want to disable that now some of these you may want to leave enabled and you can also make these changes later on once the install is complete the location and locational history where you've been and stuff like that uh, that wants to send that back to Microsoft we're going to disable that and click next now browser protection we're going to use smart screen that's good to protect against malware and I want to leave that enabled uh, prediction to improve reading speed up browsing and make overall experience better in Windows browser well that's your opinion but browser data will be sent back to Microsoft I don't want to do that either and then we've also got error reporting and some uh, send diagnostics back to Microsoft as well I'll probably uh, disable the send diagnostics uh, back and would we'll disable that as well but you can leave whatever you want enabled here and also as I said you can make changes to this uh, once the installation is complete and I'll probably cover that in another video because I think it's very important click next and then let the install continue so it's getting some critical updates now and once it's done this part we're pretty much good to go we should be back up at the desktop very soon now again the whole process did take a fair bit of time and this is where you can actually uh, sign into a personalized account if you wish um, I'm not going to bother doing that you can read the more uh, icon there if you wish I'm going to have um, the skip here and do this later on so I'm just going to quickly skip this process and now I'm just going to quickly create an account for myself we're just going to stick in there a username now you can use whatever username you like I'm just going to stick in there Brytech and then we're going to put in there a password and set that up as well now you want to make sure that you set up a password I mean you've seen people remove these passwords the difference with removing these types of passwords if you've got a local account or a live account which is a uh, not stored locally on the computer then you may have trouble remove that password if you've forgotten it so I'll quickly type that in and put a hint in there this is just a dummy account so it doesn't really matter and then we're just going to go next so we'll just let that do its thing Now it's going to start to set up my applications and stuff like that and then we should be pretty much uh, at the desktop. Now again the whole process did take a fair bit of time. And there we are at the desktop. So now we have our Windows 10 installed. And I shall cover some other videos on what I do when I first install an operating system or maybe do a video like that if you want to see it on the sort of stuff I do when I first install an operating system so anyway that's basically it that's a you can upgrade from any operating system whether it be Windows 7 Windows Vista Windows 8 Windows 8.1 and upgrade to Windows 10 using this method this is only one method you can use the creation tool but that is just one way of going about it as you can see here I'll just quickly show you that the account is been has been activated here you'll see once this opens up I'll just quickly right click on this PC go properties and there we go down at the bottom Windows is activated so Windows 10 has now been activated on this account and we've rolled out that uh, Windows 10 upgrade very easily Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope this video helped you out. Uh, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit that like button. It really does help me out, get some visibility. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date 
and uh, be notified when I upload new videos. If you've got any uh, video requests or problems with your computers or anything like that, you can always head over to my forum and uh, join up over there. It's free to join. Or you can go to my Facebook fan page and like over there and post on there as well if you're a Facebook user. Anyway, so I'm going to wrap this one up. So thanks again and thanks for all for your support. Uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.